All right, so this puzzle here is actually pretty easy to solve, but the reason I wanted to talk about it is because it has a really good visual cue that's going to come up in future puzzles. And what I mean by that is if I take a close look at the workspace over here, the game space, I can see that this sort of corner pattern is repeated twice. Now why that is important is because if you can solve for this first pattern, and do you see how my character is facing to the left? If I can solve this pattern so my character moves here, here, and then faces left, I'll know that I simply need to repeat that process twice. So if I illustrate that for you, I know that to get my character from here to here, I'm going to have to move forward some number of steps. I'm going to have to turn to the left to walk down this pathway, move forward another number of steps, and then because it's really important that my character f be facing the same direction down here as he is at the start, I need to make a right turn at the end. So now the question is, how do I put all of these blocks together? Taking a look, I have a total of eight, so I want to try to stay within that range. The first thing I'm going to need to do is understand that I'm going to repeat moving forward. Then, after I repeat this forward movement, make a left. I'm going to have to move forward several times in a row again. And then I'm going to turn right at the very end of this whole process so that I'm facing in this direction. Now the question is, well, how many times am I moving forward each go? One, two, three. And the reason I know I'm moving three spaces is because of these colored grass squares, this dark and this light one show me how many units I'm going to have to move in any direction. So I know I'm going to have to move three forward, make that left, and even though it looks like I'm moving down, because this is a two-dimensional space, that would be like moving forward three times again. Let's go ahead and run this and see what happens. All right, so it's okay that it didn't solve it correctly because I know now that this set of coding will complete this entire shape. Now that I've solved for this shape here, my character is facing the same direction as he was at the start. I know I can use this nested loop, and if this solves for this pattern here, I have two of those patterns total. I've used the eight blocks that they said it could be solved with, and the puzzle has been completed.